वेलकम सिस्टर आयशा जवाह Assalamu alaikum sisters I'm happy to be part of this Muslima network webinar today and share some of my thoughts with you as the founder president of the Ibadah Women's Welfare Trust May Allah make the efforts of sisters Aisha and Faiza a grand success by success I mean the success which Allah refers to as dalikal faudul adeem in the Quran May Allah grant them success in this dunya endeavor and ultimately reward them in akhira for their efforts to create a unity of muslima seeking the pleasure of allah unity is strength when the sand grains unite they become a vast desert when the sea drops unite they become a boundless ocean the unity of people makes an invincible strong nation this is the reason islam lays great stress on the importance of unity The Islamic concept of tawhid is the other name of the unity of human kind as Muslims our faith is not complete and our worship is not sufficient until we have built the strong bonds of sisterhood amongst ourselves this sisterhood between believers was established by Allah him wa ta'ala himself in the Quran when he says believers are indeed brothers in the surah al-hujurat verse number 10 Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala also says in the Quran the believers both men and women are awliya that is helpers supporters allies to each other in surah tawbah verse number 71 the basic aspects of our faith that is the five pillars of Islam emphasize sisterhood union in belief praying in congregation fasting together sharing wealth to uplift the fellow beings and doing pilgrimage collectively worship of allah is ibada allah says in the quran that our living and dying should be for the sake of allah so anything that wins the pleasure of allah is an act of ibada sisters as muslims and as mu'mins we should try to help one another at all times drawing one another to the straight and moderate path that allah calls us to walk so let's welcome this ibada of muslima network which is working to unite the muslimas globally mashallah as an arabic teacher i motivated my women students to come together for the cause of allah they agreed and the ibada women's welfare trust was born it is a non profitable public charitable trust working for the belief welfare of women it is a trust by women for women and of women the trust was formulated by 12 women to assist women in need and the contributors to the trust of women alhamdulillah the women who came together only to gain closeness to allah by sharing the wealth time and energy for the cause of allah by the grace of allah the trust have been able to give educational and medical assistance to the needy the major feat i should say is the workshops conducted to create awareness among women about the islamic principles the janaza workshop rendered practical training in washing and shrouding the workshop and married life made women realize their rights duties as well as show them the way to win rewards in the akhira through their married life in this dunya the point to note here is the workshop was conducted totally by the ibadah trust executive members and no outside speaker the women who were first time speakers came forward to research quran and sunna collect materials organize practice and deliver mashallah the participants were moved by the words of allah and the diligence of ibada sisters ibada sisters also lend a hand wherever it is necessary in the last rights of women ibada of women's welfare trust comes out with a quarterly magazine solely to spread the knowledge of islam this is also a united effort of the ibada sisters on the whole Ibada Women's Welfare Trust strives to make a difference in the society by engaging in service to humanity. We are committed to the cause of Allah. We solicit Allah's guidance to propel us in the positive direction. Love in Allah is the motivation. Faith in Almighty is the conviction. Effort possible is our hearty intention. Consequence is our Rahman's decision. 
you can contact us for any information on the trust or for the contributions and suggestions. You can also visit the site for further details. We must be inspired by the blessings of Allah, actively hunt for His blessing in our daily experiences, and seek His blessings to be of a worthy creation. The all knower's guidance is there for us to take. We have to be alert enough to grab the mercy of Allah. May Allah open the hearts and minds of all Muslims so that we realize our responsibilities and strive to live up to those responsibilities in our lives. May Allah create in us a desire to increase our knowledge and practice of Islam and may we utilize our lives and resources for Him. May the Muslimah network serve as an instrument in bringing a unity in global arena and unite us in the ibadah to Allah. Amin. Alhamdulillah.